Hey, First Baptist, you know, for the first time in the history of this 127-year-old church, First Baptist Enterprise is not going to be meeting on Sunday morning for several weeks. And here's what I know. Many of you are struggling in this time of uncertainty. I think we, we all are to a certain degree. And if ever there was a time that you would want to gather with a church or you would want to be with your faith family, it's now. And I tell you, I, I sympathize with you. I, I want to be singing alongside you. I want to see you in person. I, I want to be there with you. You see, there's no adequate substitute for meeting together. Jesus took on flesh, and He did not stay at a distance. It says, The Word became flesh, and He made His dwelling among us. And every time that I gather, there are countless unintended graces that I experience when we assemble together. Little conversations uh, on the side that, that really build up my soul. Uh, uh, seeing someone singing their heart out to the Lord, seeing someone respond to the preached Word or to the reading of God's Word. Those are, those are wonderful things that you just can't get at home if you dial in online. But we're not going to meet for a time. But I want you to remember that <laughs> this is just a bridge. And the purpose of a bridge is not to stay there forever. It is to get to the other side. So tomorrow morning at 1030 a.m., here's what I want you to do. I want you to gather with your family. I want you to engage in social media uh, live stream if you can. And I know that it's not ideal, but it's the best that we can do in this season. And I do believe with all my heart that this will create in us a longing for that day when we come back together again and we worship together in our corporate gathering. And I believe the intensity of our gratitude will be greater than ever before. I love you, First Baptist, and I'm looking forward to worshiping our risen and sovereign Savior, Jesus Christ, together with you online at 1030 tomorrow morning.